What's up, big man? How we doing? I'm doing really good. Good to see you. Thanks for taking the time to join me here. Uh, how you like this? It's a little cold today. It's a little surprise for me. It's a little chilly, some rain, and we were gone for like a week, and apparently it was sunny in 75, so go figure. We come back and it starts raining. But, but for a kid who grew up in Wisconsin, uh, how'd you play in cold weather? You had to have some cold weather back in those yeah. days. Snow, you know, snow outs were a reality back where I'm from. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so we had to take a pause from some innings because it was snowing so hard you couldn't see, but we still grinded. We grinded, no doubt. I'm from Oregon, and a lot of times when it rained like this, it got real muddy. We put gasoline on the field, burn the field so we could play. So I'm with you, man. I understand. But, hey, that was back then. We're here now. Uh, you're off to a fantastic start, and it's been fun watching you play. Uh, what do you think the difference is right now? I got some thoughts, but I want to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of different things. The biggest thing is I'm just trying to stay positive regardless of the, the outcome, um, and that's really transitioning into, you know, forgetting about negative things. Um, eliminating a lot of distractions and just really going out and having fun playing the game that you know I grew up playing in Wisconsin and that's just and having fun with the guys that's the biggest thing. Well I always felt like the biggest thing is when you know all right now I'm probably gonna get 500 at bats it's a little easier to accept an 0 for 5 and 0 for 7 nobody likes it but you got a long-range perspective when you're trying to just continue to grind and battle it's tough to, when you get that one call on you just think, man, I, I'm only getting five ABs. Let's go. So ha has that played into it at all for you? I mean, for sure. I think it would anybody. Um, you know, again, it always just goes back to no, regardless of 0 for 10s, 0 for 15s, you know, 4 for 4s, like just trying to stay positive. That's like my biggest thing, the biggest difference this year to in years past is positivity is like the ultimate like goal for me. All right, so we're talking positive, and we're talking about offense. You've been doing it on the defensive side, too. Diving, ranging, going after it. And a lot of people don't ever talk about your defense. You've been a stellar defender. Uh, what do you like better, right, center, left? What, what position do you like the best? I'll play wherever. Um, you know, I definitely love, you know, guys scorches one in the gap and trying to uh, snag it from them. Um, you know, I think playing defense is just as important as being in the box. So I think for me, going out there and trying to help the team any way that I can, whether it's right, left, center, it doesn't matter. Um, I, like, I like them all. So the celebrations are so big in the dugouts after home runs. And you guys have the Triton. Uh, who came up with the Triton? How'd that come about? I think it was, I think it was JP and Sam Hegarty. Because I remember they, they were like, hey, what do you think about this? And I was like, dang, that looks kind of dangerous. But <laughs> honestly, 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 like, who cares, right? We're not going to hit anyone with it. So he was like, oh, I'm going to buy it. And I was like, all right, buy it, man. And then. Oh, so he actually bought it from somewhere. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. And That's then, crazy. yeah, and then, like. I wasn't. I saw it, and I was like, "How are we gonna get away with this?" And then someone hits a home run, and I was like, "This is actually sick." It was awesome. I couldn't believe you took it on the road. That's yeah. what shocked me. I saw it in. I think it was in Toronto or something like that. You brought it on the road with you. I know. Security let us let us through. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have private planes. All right, man. So keep it going. I, the last thing I guess I'd say to you um, is. Playing in Seattle, you feel comfortable now getting a chance knowing that you're probably going to be in the lineup every day? That helped? Yeah. Uh, I think the biggest thing playing in Seattle that I've noticed playing in like other cities is the fans here are so loud. And especially like tonight, you know, weekend series against the Astros, you know, they're so loud. They're all behind us. And I said it in spring training that they're like our music in the background to get us to dig it, make us dig a little bit deeper. And, you know, when you come out here and there's 50,000 people screaming, like, that's where it's at. City Connect Unis uh, breaking out. You yeah, digging those? Yeah, yeah. I think they're pretty sick. I mean, I wasn't sure. I seen the picture of them, and I was like, ah. But then I saw them in person, and I was like, dang, these are, these are pretty sick. Yeah, you, I think you got a chance to make everything look fashionable. You're cool now with the hair just chilling out before BP and everything else. Hey, man, continue success, yeah, okay? I appreciate, appreciate the time. All right, back to you guys in the studio. I told you, Adnan, he was rolling. I told you. H, we just want to see you throw some gasoline out there on the field now for that story in Oregon, man. Heat that baby up. <laughs> Great stuff from you, Jerry <laughs> Kelnick there. The Trident. Then we know the whole story. They bought it, took it on the road with them. Good stuff, man.